Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 45 minute glute, quad, and hamstring at home workout. What you need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, go ahead and grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 25s, 15s, 10s. Of course, I'll tell you what I am using, but you and I are different. So I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form throughout. You will also need a bench. Now I understand a lot of people don't have a workout bench at home. So what you can do is you can replace it with a, a chair or a stool, just something that you can step on and set your back on. Make sure that surface is nice and sturdy. If it is not, what I want you to do is place the back of it up against a wall so it doesn't tilt back on you. Speaking of a wall, I want you near a wall for the end of the workout and to help balance throughout this workout as well to help provide that extra stabilization. You will also need a mini band. Make it about medium resistance. We're using it to abduct and to kick back. So medium resistance, you may want lighter, you may want heavier. Again, everyone is so different. And lastly, you will need a mat and then something for hydration and a towel around as well. Here's today's format. We have triset. The first round will go 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 75 seconds, recover. And then the second round, we cut the time approximately in half and continue on 30, 30, 45 recover. The first round will be a slow controlled tempo. The second round, we're repping it out normal tempo. Every triset will go unilateral left, unilateral right, and then bilateral meaning equal weight in both sides of the body. Now I will be cueing left side first, but if you know your right side is weaker or if your left side is more dominant and your right side is not quite as dominant, you can always do right, left, and then bilateral. So it will feel like a little bit of a drop today because we are doing one side, then the other, and then that final third exercise, that 75 second exercise, will feel like a drop, we're maintaining the same weight. So instead of dropping the weight to something lighter, we're just performing with both feet, equal weight in both feet. During round two, since the time is cut in half, we are trying to match our weight from round one. However, if you didn't feel challenged enough, then what I want you to do is up your weight selection. Vice versa, if you felt your form start to slip, then drop that weight. And of course, you're not married to the weight during the actual set. So if needed, you can always drop your weight throughout as well. Now, cues will be kind of minimal for me today. As you can tell, I have a little, my throat's doing something funny today. So my voice is leaving my body, but I will have the timer, I will have the upcoming exercise and the demo in one of these corners. And of course, I will verbally transition you into the upcoming exercise as well. There is no jumping in today's workout. This is not cardio focus, this is strength focus, and we're really going to feel those muscles work and burn and get stronger. So go ahead, grab all your things, and let's get to work. <laughs> we begin this workout with sideline banded abduction, so place your band right above the knees. We begin with side lying banded abductions. Try to keep tension on the band throughout. So try not to let it rest right here. This is our starting and ending position. We take it up, pause and squeeze, feel that upper outer glute work, control, control, control on the way down. This begins your workout. We're here for 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. We switch to the other side in three, two, and one. You can flip it however you want. Keep tension, bring it up, control, control, control on the way down. Right now we're in a neutral position with our hips, with our foot placement. Next round, we're gonna change that up a little bit. Yeah. 
our next exercise is feet elevated bridges. So we'll be placing our heels on this bench. Now, if you don't have the bench, you can always perform it with your feet on the mat. That is perfectly fine. Feet go on the bench in three, two, and one. Let's take our time getting there. We're here for 75 seconds, so we got time. Heels on the bench from here. Find your starting position. Squeeze your glutes. Press into the band. Now take it down for three, two, one. Don't let the hips touch. Then bring it up. Squeeze the glutes. Press into the band. Take it down. Three, two, one. Squeeze the glutes. Press into the band. And as you take it down, I want you to maintain the tension in the glutes. So don't lose that tension in the glutes. Now just squeeze it more. Last three, two, and one. Now we repeat that same tricep, but this time 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. From here, we're gonna change up your foot placement, toe down, heel up. Now take it in front, normal tempo. This, this time it's okay if you lose that tension, normal tempo, and you may feel it a little bit differently this time. Switch sides, this time I'm just turning away from you in three, two, and one, 30 seconds. Toe down, heel up. Bridges are next, feet go on your incline in three, two, and one. the connection to your glutes. Sometimes just letting the eyes stay nice and soft and really visualize squeezing the glutes. Sometimes placing your hand on the actual muscle, feeling the muscle contract at the top can help make that mind-muscle connection more apparent as well. Last three, two, and one. All right, ditch the band. We're grabbing some weights. We have step ups left, then right. I'll be using 15s. Find something that feels challenging for you. Step ups on the left, slow eccentric in three, two, and one. Make sure your heel is entirely on your bench or your stool. Take it down, three, two, and one. Drive it up with your left heel. Left glute drives you up. Take it down, three, two, and one. Now what I want you to really focus on is driving through that left glute. Keep your core tight throughout. If you find yourself kind of, I don't want to say cheating, but using that back foot to lift off, not really isolating the left glute, what I want you to do, go lighter. Get rid of the dumbbells. Start with body weight only first and then add that weight in. Use that back foot as little as possible. Switch sides in three, two, and one, right side. Now 
Squat is next. Let's go. Equal weight in both feet. Wider stance. A little external rotation of the hips, but not much. You take it down. Three, two, one. Pause. Drive it up. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one, and pause. Drive it up. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Next round, 30, 30, 45, normal tempo. But I want you to feel it in the same exact muscle groups that we were feeling at round one. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go. Step it up. Don't use that back foot. It's all in the front foot. Isolate that left glute. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Low squat is next in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Next up, we have B stance RDLs, one weight, and I want you to support yourself with that off hand. So we'll do left side first. Right side has the dumbbell. Kick stand with the right. Support yourself here. And then we're taking it down for three, two, one. Feel that left glute drive you up. Three, two, one. One, drive it up. Now supporting yourself with this offhand will help stabilize your core, will help stabilize your pelvis. So if you ever feel like you have a lot of back pain here, this will help. So this is where you could use your wall, your chair, or I'm using my invisible wall. You can also switch sides with the dumbbells. This will just help provide a little bit more stabilization in your core, 
and your pelvis throughout. Keep that back still. Think about sending hips back. Squeeze left glute to drive you up. Send hip back. Squeeze left glute to drive you up. We switch sides in three, two, and one. Dumbbell left, right foot forward, left foot back. Four tight, hinge from the hip. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Three, two, one. Squeeze the right glute in this lengthened position to drive, drive, drive you up. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind. Next up, we have a bilateral stiff leg deadlift in three, two. In one, so equal weight in both feet. A little bend in the knees, but from here we're gonna take it a little bit lower than a traditional RDL. So take it down, down, down. Hips are still going back, feel it in the hamstrings. Now we're gonna drive it up. So take it down for three, two, one. Bigger stretch in the hamstrings, drive it up. Now, if you were to start to feel it in your low back, if your back starts to do weird things, limit the range of motion but we're just taking it down a little bit farther to lengthen the stretch in the hamstrings and now we're taking it up Last three, two, and one. Nice work. <laughs> We're going for round two next. Here we go. This is our normal tempo round. Control it though. Normal tempo doesn't mean <laughs> let the weights just fling the weights around. It means you're still controlling it, but we're just going up and down. Eccentric, same as the concentric. Feel it work. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Bilateral deadlift in three, two, and one. Just aim for a deeper stretch in the hamstrings. Just try to take it down a little bit more, then bring it up. Last three, two, and one. Bulgarians are next. Left foot grounds, right foot goes on the bench. Right hand has that dumbbell. We take it down for three, two, one. Drive it up. Now this is where I want you to use your wall. 
You can use your chair right here to help stabilize. You're gonna feel this in your glutes, but you're gonna really start to feel this in your quads. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Next up, we have goblet squash, just a couple more reps. Three, two, and one. When you're ready, goblet squat right here. Normal stance, let's go. Last three, two, and one. 30 second round is next, 30, 30, 45, then we get a longer break. <sighs> Left foot forward, here we go. Normal tempo round, let's do it. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Goblet squats in three, two, and one normal tempo.
Last three, two, and one. Longer break, grab that drink. Next up, we have single leg thrusts, left, right, then bilateral. I'm going to start body weight only for these single leg thrusts. For round two, I'll grab a 10 pound dumbbell. So stabilize with the left. I want you to squeeze that glute. I really want you to make that connection here. That's why I'm doing body weight only. But, if, but, but by all means, if you wanna go ahead and grab a dumbbell, place it right here, go ahead. I want you to make that connection. Squeeze the left glute, squeeze it. Three, two, one. Squeeze the left glute to drive you up. Three, two, one. Make that connection. I want you to hold the tension in the glute even as you come down. Core stays tight and keep everything still. Notice how I'm not hinging from the back right here. My back is staying still. We can make these movements hard with our execution, with our tempo, with our squeeze. Really make that connection here. We switch sides in three, two, other side. Now next up, we have a bilateral hip thrust, one to a quarter rep. I'll be grabbing this 25 pound dumbbell, setting it on my hips for that weight increase. A little, a little different this tricep. In three, two, one, grab your weight. Here we go, get set, take it to the top. Now we're gonna add a pulse, three, two, one. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze them again. Three, two, one. Squeeze it, squeeze again. Three, two, one. Now we're really biasing the glutes here. We are working, depending on your foot placement, will depend where you feel it. We wanna keep pretty close to knees uh, over the ankles, but it can, it can vary a few inches. Everyone's gonna be so different. If you were to not feel this in your glutes and you're feeling it in your hamstrings, then your feet may be too far away from you, so walk it in. If you were to feel it more in your quads and not really in your glutes, your feet may be too far in, so walk it out. Just play with the position of your feet and of your where your back is placed on the bench. B-E-N-C-H. Last three, two, and one. Normal tempo round is next. This time I'm gonna grab just 110, place it on my hips. This is a really challenging move. Takes a lot of core stabilization, takes a lot of stabilization in the body, and we're already fatigued. So keep that in mind. If you were to start to feel it in your back, other places, ditch the weight, body weight only, and then see how it feels. Switch sides in three, two, and one other side. Last 
We're gonna swap out weights again for something heavier. Here we go, grab it in three, two, and one. Normal tempo on the eccentric, but maintain the quarter rep at the top. Last three, two, and one, nice. Next up, we have curtsy lunges. I'll be using 15s, left side first. We go at a slight angle, but keep those hips parallel to the ground. No wobbling, here we go. We ground with the left, right foot crosses over, bring it back up. Three, two, one and pause, drive it up. Just a slight angle. If you start going too far, you're gonna start to wobble those hips, feel it in your back. So it's just a very slight angle. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Next up, we have sumo squats, wide stance, heels in, toes out. In three, two, and one. Let's bring those weights together. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Now this variation of your squat will target your inner thighs now just a little bit more. Last rep. And recover. Nice. We repeat that final round up next. Curtsy lunge, left side, normal tempo.
other side in three, two, and one. Sumo squat in three, two, and one. 45 seconds, normal tempo. Last three, two, and one. B stance hip thrusts are next. I want you to place that band around your, your quads. That's what it's called. So a little bit more recovery time here. Next up, banded B stance hip thrusts. Slow control tempo. We're gonna press into that band. 80% in the left foot, 20 in the right. I'll be using, <laughs> starting out, with the 25, but I have those other weights handy if I need to drop. And if you start to feel your form slip, do the exact same thing. So 80, 20, press into the band as you go up. So press and squeeze into the band. Left glute is on fire. Three, two, one. Press into the band more. Maintain tension on the band and the glute as you lower. Just press into it more on the way up. Switch sides in three, two, and one, 80, 20, other side. Next up, we have a top range of motion hip thrust. So top half only, and we're going to maintain a slow control tempo on the eccentric and the concentric. So pause right here, three, two, one, and pause. Three, two, only halfway down, pause. Glutes, hamstrings are quivering. Three, two, one, and pause. Maintain tension on the band as you lower. Now squeeze the glutes before we drive, 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 and press into the band. This is going to leave your glutes feeling <laughs> burning, <laughs> for lack of better words. It's going to burn. It may start to shake. Slow and controlled is what we are focusing on here. Painfully slow. This is good for us. It builds character, but also just establishes what muscle is working. This muscle right here is what we're focusing on. Just 
Strong glutes are so important to how we feel. If you have a lot of lower back pain, strong glutes will help with that. Last three, two and one. Wow, 15 seconds y'all, we repeat that and then we're on to our final tricep and it's just the band, just the band. So we have that going for us. Here we go, B stance on the left. Normal tempo this round, let's go. Switch sides in three, two, one other side. Top range of motion, hip thrust in three, two, one, normal tempo, but I want you to maintain a three count pause at the top. So down, up and hold, three, two, one. Halfway down, up and hold, three, two, one. Last three, two, and one. On to kickbacks. All right, I'm going to be placing this band around my ankles. Support yourself with your wall. And we're just going to kick it back, bring it in. Slight external rotation of the hip, and I want you to kick back at about a 45 degree angle. It's a very small controlled movement. And depending on the resistance of the band, you may be able to only take it here. What we don't want is a lot of movement in the back. So core stays tight. You can have a slight hinge or lean forward, but it's very small. I want you to feel that upper outer glute work. Bring it down. Place a hand there. Make sure it gets a little tighter at the top. There's a, t there's a change in the tissue at the top. It contracts, it gets, gets shorter, it gets a little bit harder, it firms up, and then we release. Last three, two, one, other side. Little external rotation, pause and squeeze, control it down. You can also perform, if I didn't give you a weird view, I would perform it with a wall just like this to help stabilize the hips. You can also use a chair right here to help stabilize as well. Next up, we have wall sit abductions. So find your wall. We have a wall sit. Here we go. Place the band. Go ahead, slide the band right above your knees. Now let's take a seat. Back flat up against the wall. Now we're just taking it out. Control it in. Out and pause. Control it in.
Try not to push up against the hands. Fight through this burn. We got this. Last three, two, and one. 30, 30, 45, then we're done. Slide that band down, down, down. You can also perform it with your band around your quads or below your knees. That's totally fine as well. Here we go. Kickbacks, 45 degree angle. I am gonna give you a different view, a backside view, so I apologize in advance, but that may help you with what angle I'm taking at, because I know it's a little weird to see the angle. So just a little 45 degree angle right here. Really targeting your glute medius. Go ahead, switch sides, other side, 30 seconds, just match it, control it, normal tempo. wall sit abductions or what we're in and with all right all right let's slide that band up in three two and one slide the band up first and foremost now let's take our seat from here just normal tempo just burn burn baby burn we got this we're here for 30 seconds one inch lower Breathe through it. Here we go, one inch lower. Final 15 seconds, we hold and we squeeze. In three, two, one, just 15 seconds, hold. Don't push up, hands out. Nice work. I was at a loss of loss for words because I was crying. Nice, nice work. Sling that band off. And uh, let's stretch. Let's do a figure four stretch. So cross at the quad, ankle over the quad, and then hinge it down. And then just gently guide that inner thigh down or left knee down, but not directly on the knee. Just right above it. Ooh, it's going to give you a good stretch. Oh my goodness, a real good stretch. Let's continue with this side. So left foot, my voice is about to leave my body on the bench and then take the right hand up and over. Big stretch along the right hip flexor into the right quad. And when you're ready, take that left foot back. I'll also link some additional stretching below. A really good one to complement this workout will be my hip stretch, hip, hip stretch video. So I'll link that below. It's 15 or 20 minutes and it feels amazing. Has my favorite stretches to really complement a leg day like this. And let's go ahead and switch sides. I guess I'll just stay right here because my bench, B-E-N-C-H is right there. All right. Nice work today. We didn't go super I mean, these weights were challenging. <laughs> so, I was about to say, we didn't go super heavy, but um, you don't have to. You don't have to. If you can really execute the movement properly, slow down the tempo. I mean, we get that muscle working. Oh, it's just beautiful. Here we go. Hip flexor, quad stretch, hand goes up and over. Sometimes if we go a little bit too heavy, especially at the gym, start to feel these other muscle groups that we don't want, like the lower back start to kick in. So this is a great way to really just, ooh, just nail the form, nail the execution, and really just get the most out of every single movement. Let's go ahead, take it back. Now this was a glute, hamstring, and quad focus workout. We did hit your calves as a secondary muscle group. Wow. 
Nice work. Again, if you want more of a stretch, I'll link some below. So take advantage of that. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, open up. As long as you tried your best today, that is what matters most. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. Be sure to tag me in your post and I uh, be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. I love to see them. Uh, Facebook fit by Laurie. And most importantly, y'all have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.